Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are going to install this eBay short kit, short shifter, however you want to call it, into the E36 M3. Now, this is a very cheap one, and I'm going to explain to you why I decided to pick this one compared to any other expensive models. Now, I'm also going to take you to the installation process so you can see how it's simple to install this, you know, thing into the car. Let's go ahead and start this process. This is the shifter here on my E36 M3 and as you can see it is pretty you know it's pretty loose I love it I love the way it feels but first the shift throws are so long like this is first and this is second so it takes forever to get to second now to get to third there's so many play here and fourth right here and then to fifth you know, you go on the corner right there it's like sometimes you can miss it because i feel like there's something blocking it here or something but it's just too wiggling and then it's just too loose for me so i'm pretty sure that the rubber boot here on the bottom is uh, just damaged and we have to pretty much replace it that's one of the reasons why i decided to go with the short shifter kit now in the future eventually when this car is turned into a you know truck mode car i'm going to have a chassis mounted shifter but for now since it's kind of like a daily slash truck car um you know i just want to have this ebay version one because it's very cheap just to kind of fix the little issues that i've mentioned here and then later on in the future i'm definitely going to have one that is very very good that has short throws and that is you know chassis mounted now the process for this one is pretty simple there's a pretty portion that we are going to do here on top and another portion that we're going to do on the bottom of the car now to get to the bottom you have to jack up your car of course make sure that it's safety for you when you work under there and then the most of the part will be done up here now that ebay shifter a lot of you know people review it and they love it so i went ahead and purchased a set for myself i say hey man it doesn't kill me it's about 20 bucks so let me try this if you can fix this wiggle thing here because sometimes i miss the third here and i usually don't miss on the mini cooper or any other manual car that i've had in the past but on this one every now and then i will miss the third because it's just too wiggling here and it's not really you know working the way i would prefer so let's go ahead and start the process right now the first step is pretty much to remove the shifter to remove the shifter all you have to do is pull and it should normally just come out but as you can see with everything that i do it's never as simple maybe this one you have to twist it or whatever no this shifter is definitely giving me the hardest time ever so let me see how i can remove the shifter and then i'm gonna tell you guys actually to remove it all i have to do is just pull harder because i'm so afraid to break things in this car because i've break a few things in here i was not pulling as hard so when i use both of my hands and i pull it came off this is a weight you know shifter and it's really uh, it has a nice feel so this is what i will be reusing when i install the short kit so now the next thing is pretty much to remove this little boot right here so you just find a corner and kind of like just open it and you see it was pretty simple to come off you put it to the side then the next phase you have to remove this boot right here same process you just find a corner and just remove it i would always say that when you remove items do it gently so that you don't damage anything because you know you don't want to spend money on to replacing parts that you don't have to replace right like just take your time and remove and eventually you know it will come off like this one now the final piece is to remove this little piece right here so oh my goodness as you can see it's already torn and broken so let me wear some gloves and then come and film again how i'm going to remove this one all right now i have my gloves so let's go ahead and remove this other boot here now this one is really damaged and i'm not even sure why so i should probably go on fcp euro and try to order you know the factory part for this one but first i'm going to still try to remove it just because i just have to do it and it's just coming off in pieces so let me go ahead and remove this off camera and then after that what i would like to point out is that right now we are ready to go work down under the car so i uh, stop trying to remove this you know little broken boot because i saw that i didn't really have to i had all the space that i needed here 
when I order the new one, I'm going to spend time to kind of break it down and remove it because it's really stuck there. So I don't want to waste time today. So pretty much under here, we have a linkage that is holding the bottom portion of this shifter. Now on the right side, we have to remove the little clip that is holding that shrinkage. Once we remove the clip, we will pull the shrinkage to the left. And then once we do that, this is going to be loose. At that point, we can come back on the top and remove it. Once we have that out, we put the eBay version one, press it in, put back the shrinkage, and then put another old ring that is coming with the kit, put back that clip, and then the job is done. We put assembly, start assembling everything back together. Now, the eBay version, because it's universal, it's a little bigger, you know, the little hole here for the string kit, I'm gonna show that in a second, is a little bigger, so we have to trim that a little bit by sanding, you know, one, both side with sandpaper. After that, you know, it will fit, and then we we'll just use it. So let me go now on the bottom and remove the clip. The clip is usually on the right side here, and then push the linkage on the left here. All right, I am under the car right now, and this is, you know the transmission right here and the shifter is literally right here so this is the clip that i want to remove right now i can barely see it I'm trying to move the camera around so you can see that clip right here that clip on top there so that's the one that i remove and then i have to push that little thing in the middle to the other side and then on top i will be working again so that's pretty much what i have to do now so I have to do this off camera because I have this shield here that is really kind of like bubbly, as you can see. Normally it's not supposed to be that way. Like I told you, my cars will have something different, man. <laughs> so I have to push that before doing so. I cannot really do that on camera, but I will have to do is use a plier and remove that screw, that uh, clip right there, and then push the other thing on the other side. After about 10 minutes of struggling down there, I was able to remove that linkage and i'm trying to locate it down here but it's somewhere under there i can't really see it. it it's like on the side here now to remove this shifter all you have to do is use your plier it's already off right now as you can see i already removed it so to take your plier and then put it in this type of position push it a little bit and then twist it counterclockwise when you move it about maybe 90 degrees you just lift it and the shifter is going to come off so my linkage was stuck here i had to put some wd-40 that's what you see is a little wet like this for it to come off and as you can see here that's the shifter down there all right so let's go ahead now and compare this to the ebay version here are the two shifters this is the factory one and this is the ebay version now the difference between the short shifter kit and the regular one is really happening right here this one is this little you know, middle piece is actually bigger. That's what creates, you know, this short shift compared to the factory one, as you can see, is very small. This is almost like triple the size. Let me just put it together so you can see, almost triple the size. If you compare the two, you will see that this bottom piece right here, where the linkage, you know, goes in there is actually smaller on the factory version. That's why we have to scrub a little bit on this white area right there so that it will be smaller then that shifter can linkage can fit properly here and then you put the clip right here now when you want to mount this after you put this in the car like this you put the linkage here you put the clip actually before putting the clip there's an o-ring that is provided that you have to put right here so that it will prevent this from going back up so after you put that o-ring clip then you put the little clip that we remove from factory. After you do that, honestly, the job is done. You just start putting everything back together and then the shift knob will go here. Now this eBay shifter, it's made so that the factory, you know, top here knob can fit and it's good. And it has a nice little weight on it. So what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and, you know, remove some of that excess here using sandpaper. I'm not gonna film that, but once I have it, uh, trimmed a little bit i'm going to show you guys the result all right i went ahead and trimmed a little bit of that white so as you can see it's now smaller so when you mount this shifter in here you have to make sure that there's an orientation now when you look at it it looks a little bent that curvature needs to be on the front towards you so when you put it this way you know do not do this way where the curvature is like going towards the front so the curvature needs to be towards the back so kind of like 
like this and then since it's straight going down because you have that little shaft thing that is down there that's going to enter enter this way so you want to go ahead and mount it this way so when you put it now it's not really completely well seated so you have to like push it a little bit so you know you push it quite hard so that it goes all the way in properly and then after you do that you go down you put that o-ring and then after you put the o-ring you put the shaft inside the hole put the clip and that's it after that you just come back and put all the boots together and then the shift knob and you complete it you can go ahead and test drive your car so let me go ahead and fix this then i will go under put the o-ring then show you how i put the o-ring and then after i put the o-ring i meant to say and then after that um put the clip everything and then show you how you know the finished product on the bottom is and then the finished product on the top is before i put these boots right here this is day two i did not have a snap ring pliers so what i did is i waited the next day and went and purchased one now after installing the ring here because yesterday i struggled so much here and i damaged the ring a little bit now you can see it's kind of like broken if you look carefully around here you can see that it is broken so i have two choices either i buy another ring or i guess i just invest in getting a chassis mounted uh shifter right now which is the route that i was going to take so i'm not sure but right now it is secured it's not moving i tried to bang it to see if it's gonna go up it did not move so i'm gonna try to drive it like that for uh, maybe a, a few days and you know waiting for the chassis mounted shifter now let's go ahead on the top and put everything back together i'm back inside the car and this is how it looks now so you see when i try to pull it up it's not coming up so i'm just go ahead and mount everything together so i have to put back uh this boot right here which i took out it goes all the way in like that there you go then i have to put this one remember this we go to these uh, clip right here so i have to make sure it goes into those holes same thing on that side and again like i said when i order my chassis mounted shifter i'm just gonna go ahead and do it and install it because uh, i'm a little afraid that because that ring is in completely and i broke it it's not going to work well so now i put the shifter pop it like that a little bit and well when you look at it it's not totally in in oh, well didn't put it right there you go okay all in there so now if i try to put in gears this oh this is for first second third fourth fifth see now there is no hesitation into going to third and then i definitely won't miss third again i like it it's short and it definitely feels very good Oh man, this is day and night. Oh, I love this. Let me go ahead and take the car and quickly test drive this. Oh my God, I just finished test driving. Man, this is day and night, day and night. I swear to God, and this is only the eBay shifter. I imagine when I have a chassis mounted filter, I mean, not filter, shifter. Oh, that's a chassis mounted filter? What the heck? So I imagine when I will have the chassis mounted shifter and also, you know, those uh, transmission mount and all of that to make it really firm. I'm pretty sure that I'm really, 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 really going to be surprised. I can't wait to take this car to the track. I have still a lot of things to do to make sure that, you know, it is ready. I'm going to change all the fluid. I already done the oil change. So I have like diff change, transmission change, uh, brake flush to put some racing stuff in there. And I have so many things. I have even brakes that I'm going to change and stuff like that. Those brakes are good, but I have like, you know, power stop because, I, you know, I feel like it needs a little more braking power. And then after I do all of those things, I'm going to then register for my first tracking day with this car. Yes, I've never taken that car to the track and actually I haven't even driven this car for the past maybe three weeks. And in case you do not know, this car soon is going to go. Yes, uh, I'm going to have a video where I explain why I'm selling this car. But uh, so far, let's end the video today and uh, I'm all dirty, see? after being under there for like almost two days kidnapped under the car 
So uh, yeah, let me go now take a shower and edit this video. <laughs> 